Sister Wives How Robin Brown Implicated Herself in Cody How did Sister Wives star Robin Brown implicate herself and her husband, Cody Brown? More so, what did she involve them in, and was it serious? Robin has a habit of making things more dramatic than they have to be while Cody is known to be evasive. How Robin Brown Implicated Herself in Cody Robin Brown came into the Sister Wives family in 2010, and it seemed like the perfect fit, at least to viewers at home. He had his OG three wives, Mary Brown, Chanel Brown, and Christine Brown Woolley. As time by, it was clear Cody favored Robin, along with the three children she brought into the marriage. They went on to have two children together, Ariella and Solomon, but even Cody's children started to notice the favoritism. Ten years in, Cody was primarily staying with Robin and their five children as they were deemed obedient and loyal. Christine, Janelle, and Mary have since left the family, while Cody has strained relationships with his children. However, Dee has been very evasive with Janelle about the Coyote Pass land. She noted how Cody and Robin have many assets, such as lavish paintings and more. One follower noticed how Cody and Robin spilled too much on the Sunday, September 22nd episode of Sister Wives. A Reddit thread was started with the OP pointing out this. I was immediately struck by Robin's open admission. In the last episode that her house in Flagstaff was always intended to be a family asset, not hers. She just admitted that the dollar Janelle and Mary gave her to purchase that home was not a gift. The intent and understanding was that that home was to be purchased using joint money to be a shared asset among all of them. They then noted how this was all caught on camera, so Robin Brown spilled the beans in a public forum. It is now questioned if this could benefit the ex-wives if they do opt to go to court. Janelle has said she does want to lawyer up. Did fans catch this? Were Sister Wives fans able to catch Robin Brown's sneaky assets admission? More so, what did they think of her openly saying her house was a family asset? Yet, did it mean the family would have to remain together? It is all questionable. I'm hoping that Robin and Cody didn't even think of her on-camera comment when they listed it, and are now freaking the avastarous K out, they, they'll now have to share profits lol. I wonder if their lawyers watch the show Evidence Galore. Cody is going to be livid if that admission costs him his beloved dollar dollar. There were questions about why Janelle Brown's name was not on anything. She get asked and they shut her down. Now a lawyer did chime in and gave their two cents about what this admission could mean for Cody and Robin. I'm now, but that letter wouldn't be required if they used the family bank account. I'm assuming all of their names are listed on that account, or at least R and K's R to put the down payment on R and K's house, and they're the only two on the mortgage. The money would be viewed as theirs and not a loan or gift, rendering the gift letter unnecessary. So essentially, even if the money was considered a loan if Robin and Cody's names are the only two on the mortgage, that's all that matters. In the end, Christine Brown Woolley is the only one who has made legal moves, so time will tell what will happen with the other wives. Do you think Robin implicated herself into a dangerous corner or will she be fine? Let us know and watch Sister Wives Sundays on TLC. Thank you.